What's the crack, lads? What's going on? Happy morning. Yeah, does that even make sense? Yeah, because I don't know when I'm uploading this. But anyway, we are back with some player reviews and breakdowns as part of the Messi pack. 150 players, and we have got 150 players to go through here. No, not really. We have only got about eight players to go through. These are part of the Messi box, as you see here. <clears throat> so these three versions of Messi, we've already covered these gold versions of Messi. Ridiculous cards. Get the booster, a new booster. And I reckon we'll see another booster before Christmas, lads, of maybe like plus five, plus six. Um, but we'll talk about that again, right? We'll talk about double stacking boosters and all that sort of in, a, in, in the live stream later on. Um, I do live stream Thursdays and Fridays, right? But this box here, I'm just going to go through this very, very quickly, okay? Because we've had multiple versions of these type of players, right? So I would say that there's probably three good picks in here. I would say Alvarez, Otamendi, and uh, Fernandez are really solid. Um, the rest of the players, listen, if you're going to be taking a gamble on getting messy and you get one of these um, top guys in here, they can actually be really nice consolation prize. If you're only spending, you know, 900 coins for a cheeky spin on Messi, um, or if you're spending a couple of more coins in your pursuit of Messi, because listen, any of these versions of Messi that you get are going to be phenomenal, um, but they don't compare with these cards. I mean, especially on paper, but at the same time, man, you can still win with these players. I mean, these cards don't guarantee you results. Um, so for the likes of Fernandez here, who's probably the top pick, right? Fernandez is a very, very solid card. I've used him quite a bit uh, over the last couple of months on my other profile. And I did like him in midfield. He's down as a box-to-box -box DMF. He's got some nice player skills. We can see a build of him here. As you said here, these players are part of the Messi collection for the 150 boxes. And we're going to pop 12 into defending there, 10 into dexterity. That's going to give us speed, acceleration, and balance and stamina into the mid-80s. 90, mid 95 aggression, <coughs> excuse me, is going to be huge for this card. The, the key to this card, lads, is the 88 defensive engagement. Just trust me, try this build out. It's a phenomenal card, right? We also have Pedro down as your, you know, traditional winger. Very high ball control, dribbling, and of course, balance is going to be stacked all into the 90s with the manager boost. Uh, we've also got Martinez, who's quite a poor goalkeeper. I wouldn't really recommend you train him up and use him. I've used him before. He's not great, even though his reflexes, awareness, and catching are into the 90s. He just doesn't really seem... Sometimes he makes ridiculously good saves, but I still think Donnarumma is the goalkeeper to, to choose if you don't have the likes of Schmeichel or somebody like that that is a legend goalkeeper, right? Um, we've also got Sanchez here, so I'll just go through a couple of these real quick. Similar to what I said about Pedro, this guy is kind of like Lautaro Martinez, apart from a little bit of finishing, but he's got ball control, offensive awareness, and acceleration and balance all into the 90s with the boost. Dribbling is going to be 92, tight possession is pretty decent, finishing is going to be 85. Very solid card for a player that's kind of coming towards the end of his career now. This might be the best time to get Sanchez if you are a fan of him. Obviously, I'm still burnt by his time at United, but um, he is a phenomenal looking card, lads, and a nice consolation prize. We also have Messi's two current teammates from Miami, into Miami. We've got an 88 aggression and 88 speed and acceleration, Jordi Alba. Very, very solid card. The thing I like about Jordi Alba, lads, right, is he kind of forces you to play him exactly how he is because he's got one touch pass. He's also got pinpoint crossing. He's also got interception and fighting spirit. Early crosser is his play style. I do really like this card. He's definitely a card I would kind of try out um with that unwavering form speed and acceleration very decent and of course if you want to train him up slightly different as we've done here right i would probably recommend if you don't want to get the speed and the acceleration all into the 88 i would probably take down his aggression a little bit i mean once you have that at around 78 for the lowest defensive stat you can get a very good passer of the ball here with lofted pass 88, which is going to make, you know, if you have a target man or you're playing that route, you can actually play him quite decently um, with a lot of, you know, different ways of playing him, so to speak, right? Because I do feel like at the end of the day, the biggest thing with this guy is you need to be getting up and down the pitch. There's no point having this guy in looking to him, looking for him to be like a Wan Bissaka type player, right? There's just no point. Um, he is what he is and that's it. And then we also have, I think I've only missed Sergio Busquets, Alvarez um, as the two, and Otamendi, right? So Busquets, again, is a very, very, very fine player. His stats are really nice. If anyone has played with Rodri or anyone has played with any of those players, they'll know exactly what they're getting with Sergio Busquets. Brilliant passer without really training him up that much. You've got 90 low pass, 88 lofted, 88 tight possession. 
Trust me, if you're not used to playing with a defensive midfielder or an anchor man sitting in the middle of the field that is able to control the ball, I won't say it's game changing, but you're also going to have all the defensive stats into the 90s. Apart from his speed and acceleration and balance, which you don't need for a DMF, this is again a very, very strong card, especially for newcomers, man, or anyone that has got a mid game squad that's looking to have a really decent DMF. And then we also have Alvarez. A lot of people talking about Alvarez lately. He's a brilliant player, lads. He's just a baller. He reminds me of a very technical uh, players that have played in the Premier League. You know, he's not the most physically strong, um, but excellent stats. And I think this card has finally done him a little bit of justice. 88 offensive awareness, a ball control, finishing and acceleration, which is phenomenal. No real weakness in this card if you know what you're doing when you're playing with him. He's not Romario. He's not Michael Owen or Eto'o. He's just a guy that is able to just do everything and score whenever he gets a chance. And then last but not least, we have the pick of him, which is Otamendi, right? So I would say that Otamendi being the pick of him is a weird one. But look at his stats, man, and look at his form, right? So he doesn't have blocker. That's the only thing you will need to give him. If you can't give him blocker, I don't think he'll be as effective. But his, 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 uh, his defensive stats are outrageous. I mean, he's going to have 98 aggression, which is going to get you the boost. And his defensive awareness and engagement are going to go to 95 with tackling at 94. If you aren't using any of the special managers, jump is going to be maxed out at 99 as well with the boost. Physical contact and header are going to be all in the 90s. So essentially, he's going to have every single defensive stat and heading, physical jump, everything that you could possibly want. Physical contact and jump all into the 90s minimum, which is brilliant for this guy who's just the ultimate destroyer, but you must give him blocker. So that is it for this pack. I will be back with the free golden generation ones. As you see here, they have added new nominating contracts. I only got one right. So we did pick that Graven Birch would be there, um, but no Evan Ferguson or any of those. It seems to be obviously new transferred players. So we will be back with that. These are part of the nominating contract box. Let me know what you guys want to see with this review. If you've got any feedback, let me know as well. We will focus on these, who you should sign, who should stay away from. There's only five-star players in this. So we will have a look at that soon. Don't forget to subscribe, lads, if you're enjoying the content and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.